Hello and welcome to The Gag, where we challenge and, if necessary, destroy media narratives. I'm George Samuel. With me today, of course, is co-founder of The Gag, Peter Lavelle, host also of RT's talk show, Cross Talk. Well, Peter, you know, um, over the past few months, we have uh, a number of times addressed uh, the situation in the Balkans. Uh, we've talked about uh, Montenegro, the, com the conflict that uh, er erupted between Montenegro and Serbia over the inauguration of uh, the new um, archbishop. Uh, we talked about Bosnia-Herzegovina and, and, and basically the, the, uh, the Republic of Serbska is boycotting the common institutions. Russia is objecting to the appointment of the new uh, office of the high representative. But the tenser situation is one that's, that's getting little attention and that's happening on the border between uh, Serbia and Kosovo. The Kosovo authorities um, imposed uh, basically a Kosovo license plate on uh, Serbian cars uh, entering uh, the province. Um, they said this is in retaliation to, for Serbs uh, putting on a uh, Serbian license plate on cost cars coming in from Kosovo. Um, this has infuriated the, uh, the Serbs living in the north of the province, and they retaliated by essentially blocking uh, the roads. Um, and Kosovo, the Kosovo authorities then sent in special forces uh, against the, uh, the Serbs in the north. And the uh, authorities in Belgrade retaliated by putting, sending armored cars down to the border, fly, fighter jets flying uh, over the border, and uh, even the Russian ambassador to Belgrade went down to the border and uh, you know, observed the, uh, the Serbian military forces by the border. So the situation is quite tense because now the, the authorities in Belgrade have said that if you use force against um, the Serbs in the north of Kosovo, we will retaliate, we will, we will take action. So in the meantime, all the usual people, Ursula von der Leyen, said, oh no, we, you know, time, time to uh, calm everything down. But the fact is that they had allowed the situation to deteriorate. Remember, there's something like 5,000 K4 or NATO forces. Well, they in created Kosovo. this quagmire. Yeah, exactly. And they allowed the Kosovo authorities to do something that they knew would be entirely a provocative act, which was putting in uh, these Kosovo license plates, seeing that Serbia has never accepted uh, the uh, independence of Kosovo. Uh, as, you know, as, in fact, you know, <laughs> that in itself is a, a whole issue. But by putting those uh, license plates, they knew that this would cause a, an action. It was a provocation. So for uh, the European Union officials to say, well, let's everything calm down is entirely in inappropriate. And their new uh, recommendation is, well, well, why don't we send, instead of the Kosovo uh, special forces, we'll send K4 uh, oh, to great. the border. Exactly. But right. uh, the, license, the license plate will issue will remain. If the Kosovo authorities can still impose their license plate, the Serbs have said, nope. That deal is not on the table. So there's a nice little uh, crisis uh, bubbling up here uh, in uh, between Serbia and Kosovo. All right, Peter. Yeah, but it's going to keep happening. And, and you know far more about this than I do, George. I mean, you're a scholar of the, the breakup of the uh, of the uh, Yugoslavia. But I mean, this was this was dyed in the, in, into the works here. Okay, this is there has to be a resolution. See. They, in this whole quagmire, there's only one group of people that don't have the right to self-determination, and it's the Serbs. Okay, right. and until you, unless you recognize that, right, and and and, and I mean, full-throated, you know, recognize that they have control, they should have control over their own destiny. Right. This is going to keep recurring over and over again, and and I will predict it will turn into a conflict of, of what scale, on what, how long, I don't know. I agree. But yeah. This is this is this was one of the easiest things to predict, right. okay? Right. And just expecting the Serbs to just say, you know, uh, cave and just say, you know, um, uh, 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 re resign from any kind of uh, 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 dignity and rights was lunacy, okay? And it was right. never going to say, and, and this is just this, this pretend politics. So it'll just be resolved by itself. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll give up, they'll, no, it's just the reverse because yeah. 
in the West, you, people don't understand it because you, most people in the West are told not you know, uh, to be so concerned about your identity. You're part of a group, okay? You're a part of a tribe, okay? Right, right. That doesn't work there. And, right. and the way Yugoslavia was treated and the way it was broke, broken up forcefully, yes. I mean, needlessly, right. creates this. This is going to be around for generations. Yep. Yep. And it's only getting more intensified. It's, it, it is. Um, because ultimately a great injustice was committed yeah. against the Serbs. Kosovo was stolen. It was stolen. It was, it was, it was, it was outright theft. Uh, NATO bombed uh, the Serbs. Um, you know, basically this, at, at the time it was a 19 power alliance, you know, pulverized this uh, little country. Um, and then having sort of forced the withdrawal of Serb forces from Kosovo, they broke all the, the NATO powers broke all the promises and allowed Kosovo to secede, which they said that they wouldn't uh, wouldn't happen. It was and the then, United Nations Security Council. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, and then they rushed to uh, recognize uh, these states, uh, the, uh, the, the independence of uh, Kosovo. And the fact is that even to this day, half the world refuses to recognize uh, Kosovo for very reason. European yeah. countries. Exactly, because even including European, including NATO countries, so which includes uh, Spain, Greece, Slovakia. So basically this th attempt, this was a you know a attempt to ram this through has failed. They, you know, they assume, oh, well, once it breaks away, the whole world will recognize uh, Kosovo and, and the Serbs will have to recognize it, but it hasn't happened. And now the situation isn't like the 1990s. So NATO is not in a really good position to start threatening and bullying because Russia is on the scene and Russia is taking a very strong stand both on the Bosnia issue and on the Kosovo issue. It's making its feelings very, very, very clear. With a, it's, it's a very important caveat with Russian support. Russian support is um, um, uh, predicated on what the government in Belgrade wants. R Russia is not calling the shots, anybody, not by a long shot. They are re reacting to what the Serbian leadership and people are saying. So Russia is literally um, following. It is not leading. I, I, I don't quite agree with that because I think Russia's position is much more than that. I think Russia's position is that this was an illegal secession. In, it's an illegal fact. secession. And so therefore they, they cannot in any shape, manner or form support an illegal secession and an illegal secession forced upon it by NATO aggression. That's that's the Russia's position. So and it's that's why just simply a neutral. Uh, no, I'm not Russia. saying neutral. I'm saying a very interested party because there was a crime committed here. Yeah. And to reinforce that, that's why the ambassador went down to have a look at it. Okay, but the way it's sometimes portrayed in the West is that this is. Russia's pawn in Europe. I don't buy that. Oh no, no, no! I think that that's the way the way it presented. Oh, oh! I mean, you know, Russia is Serb, Serbia's ally. No, no. But it is Russia feels very strongly about this, which is that they uh, this is an illegal act, an illegal secession. Kosovo is an illegal state that has no business taking part in any international institutions, and uh, and and so therefore they are very strong. They have very strong feelings. So for whenever something like this happens. Russia invariably steps in and said this was a provocative act by the, the Kosovo authorities stemming from an illegal act. And so, um, you know, they are very, you know, strongly so in, in, in this uh, issue. And should there come, should there be some sort of uh, armed conflict, Russia, I think, will be a very much a player in this because I think that, uh, you know, if they, Russia, will support it, Serbs, they will support the Serbs. They think Serbs it, are in the right. They, they have the international law on their side. If, if Serbia requests assistance from Russia, whatever that assistance may be, and there's a wide spectrum of what assistance can mean, and you know what I'm getting at, I think the Russians will say yes, absolutely. I think so. Too. Absolutely. I think so. But this was it. I mean, I, for me, it's just so frustrating is that when all of these diktats were laid out, you know, I didn't know you very well at the time, but we knew this was going to yeah, happen. That's right. That's right. Yeah. They, they, that's right. They created essentially artificial entities 
that they thought would just last, you know, they last forever, like this, this, this artificial state of Bosnia Herzegovina. Oh, yeah, we, you know, they, you know, we'll, they'll, we'll, it'll just last. Then we'll dangle European Union membership down the road, NATO membership, you know, or you know, join all the international institutions. We'll buy them off, you know, give, give them all sorts of, you know, as you say, brunches, you know, university professorships, and then they'll just accept things. Um, it didn't happen that way. Everyone, everyone could have known it didn't happen. The Serbs cannot give up Kosovo. You know, they have a fifth column. You know, you know about fifth columns in, in Russia as well. They have a fifth column in Serbia. Yeah, give up everything. Just I knew it. many of them. I exactly. They, give, you know, just give us oh, the yeah. yeah, that's like in Russia. Yeah. They, they, the Serbs, they were the NGO people here. They were right. the fifth column. I mean, right. whoa. That's okay. it. That's it. So they, you know, they're, they're, there are these people. Yeah, they're ready to give up. Sure, you know. The hell with Kosovo, who cares? But the Serbian people care very strongly. I mean, they do regard it as the origin of their state. You know, they got okay. them, yeah. and the in, adding uh, insult to injury, look who's running these places, okay? Right. Right. War criminals. Yes. War yeah. criminals. Yeah. 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 All, all the, all, and all of that, the, the only Serbs are war criminals, you know, only Serbs. Okay? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's the way. Isn't it, it, that it, remarkable, Joe? Yeah. And then that's simply remarkable. Exactly. There, there is a multi front civil war in only one group for uh, exactly. criminals. That's it. That's it. That, that's the, the, the premise of the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, which is the only people who committed war crimes were the Serbs, the only people who committed genocide were the Serbs, the only political leaders that uh, committed war crimes were all Serbs political leaders um and the media have just simply gone on repeating this thing <laughs> exactly this multi-front war between serbs and uh muslims and croats and uh the kosovo albanians only the serbs miraculously committed war crimes so yeah that's the way uh the uh, the media spent it but it is an interesting situation so we have in the balkans where things are getting quite tense and I don't think NATO really has the wherewithal to come to come in now and 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 do its bullying act that he did thirty years ago. I mean, it's a different world. Absolutely, and and um, they had an opportunity to possibly do the right thing. You would can speak to that better than I can. Um, but you know, the die has been cast, and it's going to be very, very. They, they created a situation where their uh, room for maneuver is almost zero right, right now. Right. Okay, right. yeah, and 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 you're going to certainly have regional the re, the, the neighborhood uh, it is not going to welcome this here, and you know, and NATO is supposed to be a unified consensus right. organization. They've got themselves into a real mess, and it's all of their own making. Absolutely, absolutely. It's so frustrating for me. Yes, because absolutely. and again, you know, I, I'm very adamant about it. You know, they push for. Uh, Kofisa, uh, the, the Kosovars, the, their their uh, national identity and national and their expressions of of uh, self determination, and then Bosnia Herzegovina, which is such a quilt work, it, it's it's exactly. very difficult for, even for me to understand. Right. Yeah. And then the only people that you have have a very long standing standing identity, right. uh, state of their own. Yeah. Um, I mean, going centuries back, and they're the only ones holding the short end of the stick. I mean. <laughs> That is the worst yes. of all possible worlds, and that and they dealt that hand to the entire region. That's right. That, that, I mean, that is a very good uh, point. Uh, Serbia was a state uh, before World War One. It existed before World War One. There was no state of Bosnia Herzegovina. There was certainly no such nation as Bosniaks. Uh, no such and, people and, as Kosovars. I mean, and, these are and, all and, fictions created by NATO. And Serbia. You know, um, you can call it an upstart if you want. I mean, but they fought hard, long and hard for their independence. Very and they said right. no to yeah. the Austrians, okay? They and everybody exactly. knows what happened. But That's they said, exactly. no, you're compromising our sovereignty. That, 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 that is part of their genetic code. Absolutely. And everybody, that is a tough neighborhood. Who yeah. ran the uh, who ran the shop for centuries? The Ottoman Turks, okay? Yeah, absolutely, a absolutely, exactly. <laughs> they ran the shop, and and that's why there was such strong feelings at the time when uh, you know the, the secession of uh, Bosnia Herzegovina under a very radical uh, Muslim leadership of uh, Ali Izetbegovic. Uh, they said, "Yeah, <laughs> the, the Ottomans are back. This is basically the Turks are coming back. That's what in, you know caused." these very intense feelings. But you're absolutely right. The Serbs said no to Austria-Hungary. 
uh, you know, because it was issued with a humiliating ultimatum, they said no to NATO, which also issued a humiliating <laughs> ultimatum. <laughs> and so I, if, if, if the past is any indication, George, where do you bet they're going to say no again? That's right, exactly. <laughs> That's right. All you have to do is, you know, go to an old fashioned library and crack a few books, folks, that you'll learn this kind of stuff. Exactly. Nobody writing for The Guardian, The New York Times have a clue what we're talking about. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Uh, and so, yeah, when you get very proud people, um, you know, just threatening them with, with bombs and, and so on, it just isn't going to do the job. And you know, little trinkets, you know, in front of that, that's not going to do the trick either. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ask, ask the new Europe how all of the Western trinkets, uh, what, what would they prefer? Their national values or the little trinkets, okay? It, the ledger is getting clearer and clearer, okay? Yeah. And NATO, you know, you know, bombs are the most blunt object you could ever use, okay? And well, the Serbs can say, we've been bombed before. Exactly. <laughs> okay. yeah, that, that's right. Yeah. Come and come and get us. Uh, and at that time, you know, the you know, the correlation of forces was really against the Serbs, with Russia just sort of disappearing from the world stage. It's a very different world now. Uh, Russia is very much a, a presence. Uh, Russia is very strongly in Serbia's corner, which it wasn't in the uh, Yeltsin era. Uh, very different uh, outcome. And so, you know. <laughs> NATO has allowed this uh, uh, situation uh, to develop, and now it's in a lot of trouble. I mean, you know, it's sort of going around pleading and and offers, well, you know, we we'll let the EU well, membership, you know, uh, but well, isn't we, doing well, the we job. We can end on this. Uh, NATO is going to have to show its metal, and you know, I don't think it's up to stuff. Okay. I don't think. So. All right, everybody, we're going to. I'm glad George wanted to bring this up. It's a very important story. There's got a lot of stuff going on in the Balkans, and you're lucky you have George and I here at the Gaggle because we like it. Or it is very interesting. All right, everybody, we're on locals, so please go to the gaggle.locals.com. Uh, we're going to be doing a, a super chat on Friday. Friday. On YouTube. It could be the last one. Yeah, exactly. We have a mailbag. Uh, send us questions. We'll please, yep, them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Zoom call. We'll, we're we're we're, we're um, ripe and ready for Zoom calls. Zoom okay. We love talking to fellow gagglers. Always a lot of fun. We learn new things all the time. So and, uh, and George is going to do a live stream. A live stream here very shortly uh, on locals. So yeah, everything and we've got the store and, store up and running. Lots of lots lots of really good products. Like this cup is empty. Very much like the tip jar. Okay. You got my point. That's it. You got the point. Um, yeah. So please, um, we're very grateful for all of your uh, friendship, help, support. Uh, so anything you can contribute uh, to the tip jar would be most uh, appreciated. The more you can help us, the better the product will be. Um, and remember, if you like the gaggle, please like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.